Ever click on a story and you read down a few paragraphs before you realize, hey, this is an ad, and somewhere there you'll find in small letters that it's an ad, or pick up that relic called a newspaper in your home and there's a whole supplement, and in tiny little letters it says advertisement? This is called native advertising, or sponsored content, content that's bought and produced for a news organization and made to look like their copy so that the consumer reads it more like a copy than an ad. It's a problem, though, because it's on the rise and because it can confuse the audience. $1.5 billion or so worth of advertising in 2012, estimated to be more than twice that by 2017. What's a news organization to do? Well, one thing you don't do is contribute to the trouble. Some news organizations have gotten into trouble, like the Mail Online, when they actually had one of their correspondents write sponsored content for a company in an industry that he was covering. Bad. Go to the back of the class. We look at those ethics here. We also look at the deeper problem. And here's what needs to happen, in our view. There needs to be greater clarity, greater transparency, and that's the responsibility of the news organization. Be sure that the audience knows what's a real story and what's an ad. Simple as that. I'm Frank Sesno from the School of Media and Public Affairs at the George Washington University.